Hey everyone, welcome back to a new video. I want to introduce you to the 2.0 version of the Cloud Code extension for VS Code that just was released yesterday. I was quite surprised when I started VS Code yesterday and updated the Cloud Code uh, extension and uh, I started the terminal and looked completely different. So I seen right away that this is a major update and then I check it and it is in fact the 2.0 version. So it's a major version bump as well. And I thought I'd make a short video and show you guys what I found so far, what is the differences and stuff like this. It looks really, really cool so far. I just played around with it a little bit, but I really, really like it. Um, so this is Claude Code for VS Code. If you don't have the extension yet, you can go to your extensions tab in VS Code and just download it right away. Um, and I'm going to show it to you in a empty project. So I have an empty folder here that I've just created for the purpose of this video. And if you want to start the extension, you click on this little Claude Code icon here on the right upper corner of your VS Code window. And if you click on that, you see right away that things look different now. And the thing that catches the eye probably first is there is a past conversations tab now. And not only that, but you can also like click on it with your mouse. So it's like a real GUI now. And if you click on it, you see, of course, there is no past conversations because we haven't had any yet. Um, but you see right away that the, the UI looks very, very different uh, than to what it looked like before. And as I said, I played around a little bit yesterday and uh, let's just dive right in and try to do something with that. So the core functionality seems to be still the same. So you can click in this little chat window here, although it looks much more like ChatGPT now or something like Cursor. So it's really like the side tab that you would have when you have a chat window or with Copilot or something. It looks pretty similar as you can see when I open that uh, next to each other. So definitely looking pretty, pretty similar. So they went away from the terminally looking style or hacky looking style and went to full on GUI mode as it looks like. Um, we still have the same options when we press shift and tap, we can switch between the edit automatically. Uh, well, there is no other mode yet because we don't have any files. But if you if you do that, you can switch between the modes of edit automatically, uh, plan mode and uh, ask before edit mode, I believe. But I think it's not working because we don't have any file in the context yet. Um, then you also have access to the slash commands, not only by typing forward slash like you're, you are used to, um, but it's much more clean now. You can see it much better. You don't have to scroll around with the uh, arrow up and arrow down buttons. You can just scroll around with your mouse and click on something that you want to use. Now, this will probably throw some of you off who are really liking the terminal style. Uh, I'm not sure what I like better yet either because I haven't played enough with it. Um, but we will see. We will see in the future how that goes. Um, and you also, of course, you can click on the slash here and that opens up pretty much the same menu. Um, but overall, it's I think it's pretty good. It's, it's nicely readable and everything. So on the first glance, I, I really do like it. Um, so if we go ahead now and tell it to do something, so let's say you have an empty an empty folder, just create a whatever HTML5 page with some uh, dummy text to celebrate the release of the 2.0 version of the Cloud Code VS Code extension um, and show it to me in the browser when you are done. All right, so now you can see we typed something and now we can, actually it went to plan mode automatically, which is great. I'm not sure it did that before, I don't think so. But so since we start to type something, we get access to the different modes that I was mentioning before. So if you press the shift and the tab key on your keyboard, you can switch to these modes. Now we could go to edit automatically now because it's a really simple task. But anyway, let's uh, hit up plan mode and see what it does. Um, you can also see right away that we got an API error that our OAuth token has expired and we need to create a new token. So I'm pausing the video right now and I'm going to refresh my token and we'll be right back. All right, that was a very quick fix. It still worked yesterday, so I don't know, maybe my token just expired. Either way, it doesn't matter, let's continue. So I just had to do forward slash login and it redirected me to the page and you know the process. 
let's go ahead and just paste that in here again. And you can see the UI, as I said, it changed. It looks much more chatty and you also have some nice clicky buttons here now. You can still navigate with your, actually you cannot navigate with your arrow keys anymore. Well, that's weird. Ah, you can, okay, you just have to click in properly. All right, uh, and one more thing, what I really like is that uh, previously, if you were in the situation where you had to either accept a plan or whatever, by the way, I cannot even see a plan right now, I don't know why, um, but either way, earlier, if there was a plan written here, uh, you could either like accept it or you had to, f I think, choose something like no, keep planning and then tell it what to do. But now you can directly type in here, uh, tell Claude what to do instead. So this is a really cool new feature, I think, because I was actually using that a lot and I'm not sure how that tied into the context when you press escape, probably was the same thing, but now it's much more clear that you can actually tell it, oh no, I, don't, I didn't wanna do that, uh, plan something different. Uh, let's just tell it, I don't see any plan and see what, what it does. Maybe, maybe some minor bugs here. There we go. Okay, now we see a plan. Okay, execute the plan. A little bit weird. Haven't had that before, but let's see what it does. And I actually created a Claude's plan MD file. That's what I've seen yesterday. And I think you can even open that file somewhere. At least I've seen it yesterday opened in the in the editor. Okay, but now it's doing its thing. So let's say yes, and don't ask again. And let's let it finish. And now it wants to already open. So it seems to be finished. And wow, that looks actually really cool for the amount of time it took. Let me quickly show that to you guys what it what it came up with. Look at that. Celebrating the release of version 2.0 Cloud VS Code extension. Bam. Wow, cool. Nice looking little little page that it came up with. Okay, great. Now we have that. So pretty much still working the same as before. And now if we go and do our uh, clear conversation and we do a new one and tell it, um, um, I don't know, make things look more cyberpunk 2077 style, okay? Now we have it on ask before edits mode, so it's probably figuring something out and then asks us what it should do. But you have a nice stop button here as well. And I'm sure there are several features that I haven't even cut into and haven't discovered yet. I'm just saying like, those are the features that I discovered yesterday and uh, that I wanted to share with you quickly in a video. Uh, as you know, we will dive into this a lot more in future videos. I have a lot of more content to come. Was on a little break because I was on holiday the last three weeks. But now we are putting the stuff out again. Okay, so now it's asking us, of course, uh, if, it, well, if it should make this edit to index HTML and it should. And let's see what it comes up with next. All right, it tells us what it has done. All right, open index HTML in your browser. Let's see what it did. Bam, we have a cyberpunky version of that. I like that much better, actually. That looks really cool. Um, yeah, welcome to the future of coding. It has this nice hue as well. Cool, but that's not what it's about. Um, and now we can go ahead, as I have mentioned before, and we can open this choose past conversations window and you can see the list of past conversations now. I hope you can see it. I make it a tiny bit bigger. And there we go. And this is the conversation we had before. So we can jump right back in. And I think for Claude Code, this is a major improvement, at least for me, because sometimes you just want to get back to an old conversation. And as I understand, that was not previously possible, at least not easily. Um, and now you have it like in ChatGPT or in Cursor or in GitHub Copilot. Um, they did a really great job here, I think. So I'm excited to see where it goes. And as you know, Cloud Code usually releases a new version of the VS Code extension about three to five times per day. If you have watched any of the last videos, you know what I'm talking about. Um, so I'm excited to see where they will take it. But this feels really good. It feels really modern now. 
and uh well i just like it even more and um yeah i think this is all i wanted to share with you really quick in a video while it's fresh and um, I will still do another video probably this week where we will continue to work either on our text behind image app, you find the videos in my or on the YouTube channel, uh, or we will continue to work on the Vampire Survivor clone game, which I would actually prefer. Um, but you will see Claude Code, the VS Code extension in action much more. And uh, if you haven't subscribed, guys, now is the time. If you want more content like this, make sure to hit the subscribe button. Um, lots of people are not subbed to the channel yet. All right, that's it for today. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you back in the next one. Enjoy VS Code extension for Claude.